Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. You see here I am moisturizing my lips and then I'm gonna go in with my Body Shop Tea Tree Toner. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my face with that. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with my Cetaphil Moisturizer and I'm gonna um, prime my face with that. I won't say prime my face, but I'm prepping my face with that and that is the Holy Grail. I live by that, honestly. I don't have any other product that works as best as that. And then after that, I'm going to go in with my NYX Brow Pencil or attempt to because, honey, it stops working. In this clip, you're literally going to see me realize that um, <laughs> ain't shit in that goddamn pencil. Watch. Just watch. And I'm still scrubbing it on my face. Like, since she don't feel nothing, what you doing? So what I have to do is go in with my NYX Brow Mascara. And it did okay, but I didn't really get the job done. But for the sake of this video, I had to improvise until I get some more of the NYX Brow Pencil. After that, I'm going to go in with my NYX palette. And honestly, I use this palette at least five times throughout the video. So this won't be the first time that it's referenced or used. And I go in with the shade. Actually, I'll leave the shades down below if there is even a shade for the NYX palette. But what I did was I just went in and I cleaned up the terrible job, the brow pencil, not the brow pencil, but the brow mascara did. And I'm just kind of getting it all shaped and proper. <laughs> After that, I'm going to go ahead and blend all of that out using a brush that I got from my line sister that she left. So it's mine. It's took. And I'm just going to blend it all out, making sure it's seamless. All of that, all of that. After that, I'm going to go in with my Born This Way um, foundation in the color Spice Thrum. But first, I'm going to prime my face with the uh, Smashbox Primerizer. And that's pretty cool, too. When I use this primerizer, I realize that my, the, the foundation stays after an eight-hour day versus me not using it at all. And then um, I'm attempting to go in. Well, not even attempting. I'm going in with my... Black Radiance, just because my face is two-toned, so I do use two foundations just to kind of offset it. I don't want to look like too light, but I also don't want to look too dark, and I feel like that's the perfect blend. After that, I'm going to go in with my Born This Way Concealer in the color Mocha. And I really like the entire, I'm not going to say, I think I'm biased because I love Jackie Aina. And so <laughs> she said, get it. So I got it. <laughs> Period. After that, I blend all of that in, and then I go back into my NYX palette, and I get that darkest shade, and I use it as a contour. I typically use cream contour. I do not like powder, and I just, because I feel like powder gets everywhere. It's kind of like one of those things you put it on your face, and it moves up and down, depending on where you sweep it, and so I'm just not a fan of it, so I just stick to my cream contour. However, you know what? I'm lying. This is the wrong section, y'all. Disregard that. Here, I went back in with my NYX palette to kind of cover my uh, my underbag dips. I call them the underbag dips. Because for whatever reason, there's just a line just hanging right up under sis. Just like, hey sis, like, you know, you, you can't miss her. Because she on my face permanently. Then I go in with my Loria, Loria, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I mean, you know, black people are the only people that go and buy shit they cannot pronounce. Okay, and I got to stop. Here is where I go in with that dark shade and use it as a cream contour. So just remember, just think about, think back about what I said and just apply it to this thing. Because listen, just listen. I ain't doing all that. Then I go in with my CoverGirl Fit Me um, powder. Just kind of get my face all seamless. And I don't know the terminology that makeup artists. As much as YouTube videos as I watch, I cannot get it together. I go back in that same NYX palette in that dark shade I use for my cream contour. And I get that over my eyelids as a transition shade. Then I go into the MAC, I'm going to say, notebook collection and go ahead and get my eyeshadow popping this is supposed to be a natural look somehow some way it turned into something that's very dramatic for me at least i feel like then i'm gonna just pop back on the screen with both lashes on because it was difficult putting them both on at one point i started to look like gloria so y'all bear with me but enjoy but bear with me all right and since i am done i'm using a highlight from my black radiance palette the cream palette and that's a wrap. Like, it is a wrap. 
it's not a wrap because I'm still putting on my NYX lip gloss, y'all. I'm still putting it on. But you know what I find is so crazy? Why does we got why we got to use a lease for lipstick combinations to get that perfect shade, that perfect look? Because honestly, I'm not walking around with four different lip glosses in my purse. Because what if I lose the purse? Now I lost my favorite combinations. Bye.